Excellent sight is essential in these dark waters in order to find food and avoid falling prey to others. This vital problem has been resolved in some creatures by means of the tactic of invisibility. This is the hatchet fish. It lives at depths of 1,000 meters and is 10 centimeters long. Its large eyes are located so as to look upwards. That is because at these depths, fish tend to hunt other fish passing above them. At the same time, of course, they also have to be invisible. Indeed, their bodies have been created to do just that. Their bodies are flat, and their silver color allows them to camouflage their bodies in the darkness. At this point, a fish looking down could easily make the hatchet fish out. That is because at this depth, many fish, thanks to their large eyes, can identify their prey by the light filtering down from the surface. However, the flawless camouflage system of the hatchet fish protects it from that danger. The hatchet fish possesses an astonishing deceptive mechanism against the danger from a pair of eyes looking up from below. Special cells which produce light and are known as photophores have been placed in its stomach. This light is a biological one. In other words, bioluminescence. This light is produced by a chemical reaction which is initiated by the interaction of two different chemicals. Cells in the stomach of the hatchet fish imitate the color of the light filtering down from the surface and give off light of exactly the same color. This clever camouflage helps to make these fish invisible from below, so it is difficult for predators to spot them. It is evident that this astonishing defense system is the product of a very superior intelligence. The hatchet fish cannot be aware of how it looks from below. Neither can it know how light is produced. Nor is it possible for such a sensitive system to have come about in the fish's body by chance. The hatchet fish is just one of the countless examples of God's art of creation. In one verse of the Quran, God reveals that he has dominion over every living thing in every corner of the world. He knows everything in the land and sea. No leaf falls without his knowing it. There is no seed in the darkness of the earth, and nothing moist or dry which is not in a clear book. This fish, which lives at depths of 4,000 meters, has been given the name of the angler fish. This is because it employs a similar method to the way that fishermen use brightly colored rods to attract fish. A light-emitting rod protrudes from immediately above its head. This light is most attractive to cuttlefish, for instance, which imagine it to be a tiny fish. The hunting technique employed by the angler fish is the product of a superior intelligence. It is not possible for the fish to produce light in its cells at will and then to use that light as it wishes. This system is the work of the Almighty God, its creator. In order to hunt at this depth and in dark waters, Fish have also been equipped with other systems, one of which you are about to see for the first time. Some fish even have headlights which illuminate the area in front of them, as can be seen immediately beneath the eyes of the malacostide fish. This is no ordinary light, but one with a very special purpose. The light is red, yet other fish do not perceive that red light. In this way, this equipment gives the malacostide fish night vision without being seen itself. Biological light is also used for defense purposes as well as for attack, just as happens with the way this shrimp defends itself. When the shrimp senses danger and its predator goes into action, it squirts out chemicals into its face. 
brightly illuminating the surrounding water. In the extreme darkness of the deep ocean, this light blinds the predator and allows enough time for the shrimp to escape. The way that the shrimp employs such a defense tactic leads us to the fact of creation. The shrimp cannot know which chemicals to use, nor how. Neither can it manage the fine-tuning necessary to delay the chemical reaction until it senses danger. God, the Almighty and the All-Wise, who knows everything, has created the shrimp together with its defense system. This ostracod is no larger than a bean, yet since it has one of the sharpest senses of sight of all fish in the dark, it represents a great peril. Its favorite prey is a kind of plankton known as copepods. Copepods produce light in order to communicate with one another. This ostracod approaches them by following these light emissions as they go on and off. Yet the copepod also has its own defense tactic. When danger approaches, it squirts clouds of light as a decoy to predators. Confused, the ostracod starts following the other sources of light, while the copepod escapes in the darkness. Light production is these creatures' most important weapon. They use light for both attack and defense purposes. This system evidently comes about as the result of a series of chemical reactions. Yet such a system cannot be explained either in terms of chance or of the knowledge and free will of this creature. It is the Almighty God who flawlessly shapes these light-producing creatures in this environment. The depths of the ocean are like a fairground. Millions of sea creatures, with all their very different designs, live in the oceans. These creatures in the depths of the oceans remained a secret for thousands of years, but they have enormous significance for people in the present day who are able to observe them. This great variety is a means whereby mankind can once again see and understand that the Almighty God who created them possesses infinite might and knowledge. Glory be to him who created all the pairs, from what the earth produces, and from themselves, and from things unknown to them.